Hey TVO, Bob Azumi here. I'm a pro angler and host of The Real Fishing Show, and you know what? It's my first time going fishing. You know, with the pandemic happening, I've been laying low, but uh, my son, who lives in the same household as uh, me, is behind the camera, so we're doing our social distancing thing the right way. But I can't wait. I gotta catch a fish or two, so why don't you join me and let's see what happens. You know, I've been doing pretty good. It's uh, it's definitely different times, you know, in the world we're living in right now. But hey, we'll get through it. Um, one thing I have been is at home a lot. Um, haven't been out and about that much, uh, doing the social distancing thing. Um, so it feels really weird being out on the water here for the first time. But hey, it's not too windy on Lake Erie. Uh, a little hazy today. Kind of an eerie feeling. I actually was on the water a lot, both hard and soft water. So I was bass fishing in Florida and uh, ice fishing. So it was pretty nice. And then all of a sudden this hit. And so it feels, uh, feels pretty good to finally get back out. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you, it was a tough time not fishing for that length of time. Nothing new in hobbies, although I was starting on the treadmill. I started off really good and that lasted for about three or four days. And uh, then I had trouble with my iPad uh, uh, syncing up some of the videos I wanted to watch. And so I kind of put that on the back burner. So my bodybuilding went from more of a, a body buildup. I, I'm packing on a few pounds, so I've got good ballast in the boat for this season. Hmm, last social gathering. It'd have to be in February at the Manitoulin Ice Showdown. There was a lot of folks up there having fun in this great big derby and uh, met some nice people and uh, that was the last big crowd I was around. Out of doubt, uh, the last dance with Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. That was very, very cool because I remember watching all of that live back in the heyday when they were winning their championships and then to relive it again, seeing the series, that was awesome. Contrary to what a lot of people think, uh, um, you know, because you see a lot of people that fish that listen to country and Western, uh, especially guys that are my age, but I'm a classic rock and roll type guy. So I like Zeppelin, Hendrix, you know, all that type of stuff. Oh, that's a curveball. You know, I would say tennis or golf, but if you ask anybody that's played with or against me, they'd say I'm not very talented at either. Hmm. Pike are pretty good eating, so if I had to say what's for dinner tonight, I'd actually prefer perch, but pike can be pretty tasty too. It's a pretty decent pike. Everybody. But I'm gonna say today it's this uh, Pike's lucky day. It's definitely not for dinner tonight. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna spend time with Michael Jordan because he's such a competitive guy, and I'm kind of competitive too. But I know he could beat me at maybe some athletic things. But uh, you know, it'd be fun to you know have a challenge fishing maybe a few shots on the golf course, but I'm not sure if that quarantine means you can get out in the boat fishing and, and golfing and things, yet still stay social distance and in quarantine. I think I'd pick Jordan. The one thing I'd like to see after we get through COVID-19 is that uh, we're better prepared down the road when something like this comes along again. You know, we've got the PPE equipment, uh, the vaccines maybe might be ready, um, ventilators, all of those things that we were short on um, with the start of this. I'd like to see that a little bit more available and accessible and that's about it. Just one cherished item? Okay, let me name a couple. The refrigerator, as you can see, I haven't been doing a lot of social distancing away from the refrigerator. 
Uh, that's very cherished in my house. And uh, also, you know, I had a good run over the years fishing tournaments and uh, won a lot of them back in the, the 90s and early 2000s and 80s. And some of those trophies are pretty cherished too. And last but not least, I hope you stay safe and healthy and you get through this. Uh, and once we do, of course, we'll be back to all these things that we love, like fishing and being outdoors. And uh, I better go now because I gotta catch some fish for supper. I haven't caught any perch yet. And that was the target species. The Agenda with Steve Pakin is brought to you by the Chartered Professional Accountants of Ontario. CPA Ontario is a regulator, an educator, a thought leader, and an advocate. We protect the public. We advance our profession. We guide our CPAs. We are CPA Ontario. And by viewers like you. Thank you.